word. And so before we pray for them, as a matter of protocol, I'm going to read this out to you. A certificate of ordination is just that, a certificate. These individuals have already been ordained of God before they came here tonight. And we are merely a medium that God is using to encourage these same individuals to move forward in their life as ordained ministers of the gospel of Christ. It says that College of the Open Bible hereby certify that these individuals, after sufficient opportunity for judging their gifts after satisfactory examination by this institution in regard to their Christian experience and call to the ministry and view of Bible doctrine, these individuals are solemnly set apart and ordained to the work of the gospel ministry of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. While we pray for them, we'd like to encourage you to pray where you're sitting. And we're going to pray for them now. So each of you, as you lay hands on these individuals, Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your constant demonstration of your mercy by having these eight individuals here today. Lord, we know they're here because they know you love them and they have a love for you that is unquestionable. And Lord, I pray that each of these ministers of the gospel, that their love for you will remain ever stimulated by the leading of the Holy Spirit. I pray, Lord, that you'll help each of these to continue growing in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord, while we know they all believe in God, and Lord, I pray that you embolden them to be believable about you as well that they would be humble servants, not argumentative, not debaters or disputers, but merely reflecting the love that you have for humanity and the love that you have for each of us as born again believers. And Lord, above all else, I pray that each of these individuals will never, ever, ever be ashamed of you. And this we pray in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Praise God and shame on the devil. Amen. Thank you. Thank you all. You, you may want to don't, don't go back to your seat yet. Where's Jackie? Okay. Sure Jackie. Here you are, sir. Thank you. Amen. that. God bless you. God bless you, Bobby. Amen. Marty? Thank you, sir. Get that back to the end. Yes. <laughs> Did I say it right? It's Dejian. Dejian? Say? Dejian. Dejian. That's beautiful. Yes, there you go. God bless you. Junior? There you go, sir. God bless you, sir. Tonight. God bless you. It really is an honor to be able to present this to you. Um, it's all about Christ. Amen. Amen. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I said in my prayer, I hope you are never cornered in a place and time in your life where you feel ashamed of Jesus. He is everything. Amen. Amen. So preach him. Don't just talk about him. Talk with him. Talk with him. Listen to him. And preach the gospel, not just the story. I want to challenge you. Not only tell the story, but tell the significance. So that means you've got to be students. You've got to study. Learn the significance of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise God and shame on the devil. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.
The red light is on, so we're not recording, correct? We're not recording. I'm sorry? Oh, we are. Uh, you can you can shut, shut us off now. They have enough of me. Um, what I'd like to do is just for a few moments here, for tomorrow, uh, I need to do a, a, just a quick roll call. Uh, for those of you who are here, where's... Uh, here, if I can have that bullet, please. Thank you. Okay. Angela Dobson, are you here? Yes. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. God bless you. Thanks for coming all the way from Jamaica. Praise the Lord. Oh, my God. Wow. Sharon Phillips, she's here. Tracy Meadow is here. Finette is here. Maudie is here. Alma is here. All awesome. Okay. Woking, are you here? Yes. 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 Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are all these people with you? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. Okay. Jackie Hunter is here. Tonek is here. Derek? Derek Williams? Derek, where are you? <laughs> He's not here. Okay. Maybe he'll show up tomorrow. Bobby is here. Brian Teeter is not here. Uh, Gertrude. Okay. Praise the Lord. You made it. Amen. Zezia is here. Juan Garcia. Okay. Nathaniel. Praise the Lord. Junior, you're here. Is uh, has anybody seen Pastor Gerald Sales? Oh, there he is. Okay, he's here. Okay. All right. Now, here's how this is going to work tomorrow for the graduation. As far as conferring your degree upon you, when your name is called, and it's going to be called, you should have a bulletin, mm -hmm. and it's going to be in that order. Okay. Angela will be the first one called. She'll be, have her bachelor's conferred upon her. And then when you see the name, your name after the name, for example, Sharon, you're going to come after Angela comes. Okay? And if you look down the list, Tracy's going to follow down after Sharon. Finette is going to follow down and on and on it goes. All right? And the last one, but not least, will be Pastor Stevens. Now, you're going to come down on that side over there, and you'll come up here, and I'm going to confer your degree upon you here. Now, that's the moment. If you want a picture taken with me, there's your opportunity. All right? If you want a picture with me, just tell me a little out of the way, and I'll move out of the way. <laughs> okay? Um, that's your opportunity. Now, I'm not saying we won't take pictures afterwards, but... In this moment, <laughs> just get it done. All right? <laughs> Smile and get it done. All right? Uh, then Angie will go down, and who comes after her? Sharon. And Sharon, you're going to be waiting over here, Sharon. Wow. Now, if you see the one with the name before your name coming, then just start going. All right? Um, okay. And if you're not sure, I will be announcing them as we go through it, okay? okay. Um, do, not. do not cut the line. <laughs> All right? Just, just stay with the rules here, okay? And that'll be it. It's going to be an enjoyable moment because there's, there's nothing like uh, a Christian being influenced to study the Word of God. Amen. And, and certainly, you don't need to go to Bible college to do that. Uh, you can still study God's Word without a Bible college. Yeah. Especially if you're in a good Bible teaching church, it does make a difference. Yeah. And when you're in a church being taught the Word of God rightly divided, it does make a big difference. And we make a big deal about rightly dividing the Word. Not because we just decided to do that, but because the Bible commands us to study to show ourselves approved yeah. and ultimately rightly divide 
the word of truth, comparing scripture with scripture so we don't become lone rangers and come up with some crazy ideas about God. Um, so any questions at all about tomorrow? If you're wearing a gown, uh, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and hopefully you're not going to trip over it, fall over it, you're going to be coming upstairs, so just be mindful while you're wearing your gown that if you're coming up with that on, you don't have to have one by the way, but I know some of you want to do that and there's, that's perfectly fine. Just be careful as you're coming because we just don't want you to embarrass yourself by falling on your face, okay? Um, there's going to be a lot of people watching. Those cameras are going to be zoomed on you when you come up here. So if you have friends, family that want to watch, you should have received an email. If you're on our email list, you should have received an email with the link where they can watch it on YouTube. Um, so tell your friends about it. It's They start precisely at, we're going to start at 10 a.m. Is that right, Michelle? Exactly 10 a.m. Uh, and it is my understanding that it is recorded as well. So if for some reason someone misses it, they can watch it at a later date. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, that's good. So uh, if for some reason you don't get the information to those, uh, we can follow up with that in, in the week if you want to call in. We'll make sure you get the email with the link, and they can whoever wants to watch it can watch you come and receive your degree. It's a, it's a very special moment uh, in your life. It's not an everyday experience. Uh, it's, it's a tremendous accomplishment that God is making in your life. So I hope you'll want to share that with others as well. And so tomorrow's going to be a great day. Uh, we do this in every graduation. So uh, I, I hope I'm not offending you by asking you to prayerfully do this. Um, our college supports missions. Now, what I mean by that, these are missionaries who go to a foreign field. And they're, many of them are in countries where they're not allowed to have gainful employment to support themselves. So their support comes from local churches here in America for the most part, uh, or even Bible colleges. We're not the only Bible college that support missions. Many good, sound, fundamental Christian colleges will support missions. The funding that we have in missions, that it, it goes into a scholarship for these missionaries. We don't just send them money so they can buy uh, indigenous tacos, wherever they may be, all right? It goes into a scholarship fund where they can study the Word of God while they're on the field and work towards earning their degree. There's nothing more important for missionaries, and they will all tell you this, there's nothing more important for them than to remain diligent students of the Bible. Amen? Amen. So if you are financially able to help with us, whatever you can give tonight, Praise God and shame on the devil. Amen. If I could say I would say, but if I were to say, it may not come back tomorrow. I'd like to ask while this is being given, does anybody like to give more testimony? Uh, Christ might have spoken to your heart tonight in some way, something you'd like to maybe share with the congregation. Anybody at all. I promise you nobody will laugh at you. <laughs> Okay, I want give a testimony, please. Let's get things going. <laughs> God doesn't waste anything. So when I came in here this evening, I met with Tracy and just found out that I'm getting my um, my PhD in in Christian counseling, and she does. So we were able to connect, and I was able to help her uh, with some information. So we just met, and it just, you know, and it's something wrong with Christians meet, 
we start to talk, it's like there's no barriers. You know, you feel like like open and and, and you, you connect, and that's that's, that's Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, like Amen. you know, I, I walked in here, and with all my brothers and sisters. Amen. You know, and who knows in heaven we may be neighbors. <laughs> you know, but uh, but um, and it, it, it is wonderful that you know we were able to connect. You know, and we just of all the people here. We were. I was able to talk to. Um, she's from North Carolina. I live in Myrtle Beach, and uh, so when my wife comes tomorrow, it's, it's going to be awesome. And we're going to exchange information, and then we could talk about the degree program. And so it is a wonderful opportunity. So um, there's no barriers in the body of Christ. Amen. There isn't. Amen. So um, so I just so and again we just. Made of friends, so, and, and I go to Fayetteville all the time to get my Spanish father because I can't find it in Myrtle Beach. So you know, we'll probably be able to hook up for lunch or, or coffee or something. So it's wonderful. So God Amen. bless you. Praise the Lord. Oh, and also another testimony. My <laughs> brother-in-law who was taking pictures earlier um, for the college. He lives down the road. I had no idea that I would be getting my my uh, PhD, and they live right there. <laughs> Pray for me, because they live right there. So, so, so isn't that like a all the places? You know, that's God. So my wife gets to spend time with her brother, her brother and and sister-in-law, and uh, now we're gonna go out for dinner. So Amen. it's like it, of everywhere, of every, and they've been to this church. That's the other thing. So, Thank you, Brother Garcia. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, Brother Woking, come on. Give us a word of testimony. Come on. Stand up. Don't be shy. Just, come on. Just say something sweet about Jesus. Just give us something sweet. God bless you guys. Amen. Amen. I'm happy to be here today. Amen. I'm grateful for my mom and my church family that's here with me. Amen. Amen. I'm happy that you know I'm all my family because all of you guys are my families, yeah. and I thank God for that. And we came from Miami and get here safe, yes. and we know God will continue to pray. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Anybody else like to give a word of testimony? I will. Okay, ladies yeah. first. Yeah. Ladies first. Thank Go ahead, Lori. He made me think of how wonderful you made me feel. I'm by myself, came a long way. You smiled and you gave me so much just from seeing you. And like you say, we're all Christians and we're all family, but it's hard when you come in a situation by yourself for whatever reason. You made me feel like I was something. Thank you so much. Thank you. Aww, Aww, amen. Okay, brother. Yeah. Tell us your name again. Yeah, my name is Sunday. I was born on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> Sunny. I like that name. Sunday Sunny. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, I just give God glory for you. Because uh, I, I think the moment that you connect, you talk to me. Yes. I, I can say something about you that's special. Yes. Yeah. And then yeah. I thank God for what you do through you to prepare men and women, uh, men for women ministry. Mm -hmm. Not only here in the United States, but over the world. Yeah. Because uh, it's it just so blessed to me. To, to know about Christ Amen. and to know what he's going to do through it. Then what you preach today to us, you know, just like echo my mind, like, wow, <laughs> this is what we need. We need somebody more like you to prepare men and women for God, the ministry, even though it's young people, I mean, we love the young people now because uh, you say something about the word that drives you from left to right, you don't know which way to go. We need Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. God bless you, brother. All the glory goes to the Lord. Amen. Anybody else tonight? Me. You are what? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were pointing to the young boy here playing with this game. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Praise God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I am Pastor Fana Joseph. I'm come from Homestead, Florida. Um, we start driving like three o'clock in the morning, yeah. and I get here like uh, almost three again. So I think God, I'm more than happy today if I start my testimony today. It's gonna be longer longer because when God calls me to be a part of ministry, I don't want that. Yeah. I start my nursing school, 
while I'm in the nursing school, I heard a voice said, you lost your time. I'm waiting for you in my ministry. Oh my God. And then while I'm sitting in the classroom, I said, uh-uh, I don't want that. And then my teacher said, what happened to? I said, oh, okay, well, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> and then um, I went home and I prayed. I said, no, God, let me finish my lesson school. And then after that, if I have time, and my heart, I say that. <laughs> so, and I keep on going to school. I saw a, a man come and grab, he grabbed my paper when I'm, when I'm testing. He shred it. He said, I don't want that. I said, I call you and my ministries. And I said, oh my God, what do I have to do? In 2012, he calls me to go to the ministry, to a missionary in Haiti to create the church, to create the school, and orphanage, so and so. But I don't want this part. I want to finish my nursing school if I want to help the other church. But for me to be a pastor, no. So, and then uh, in December 10, my supervisor called me. He said, Fanny, before you come to work, pass to my office. And I said, oh, wow. If I have to pass to the office before I'm clocking, I don't, I don't need to put my uniform on me. And I went to the office. And then uh, he said, you have the badge with you? I said, yes. He said, give it to me. You have a key? I said, yes. He took it. I'm fired on December 10th. Oh, my gosh. And I went at home. I said, God, today, December 10th, I have only $17 in my account. <laughs> so what I have to do? And I have two kids. I'm a single mom. What I have to do, God? And then I finished praying, and I'm laid down in my bed. I see the same man coming to me. He said, I sent you to do my work. He said, you don't have time. Now I give you time. time. <laughs> <laughs> now I give you time. And I keep on praying God. And then my son said, Mom, you got fired and you're so happy like this. I said, now I know why Amen. I got fired. Amen. And then I said, okay, God, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Stand by 10. I said, I'm ready to go. I have only $17 in my account. And then, as soon as I said, yes, God, I'm ready to go. Everybody, Canada, New York, everywhere called me, Sister Fanny, are you going to Haiti? I said, why you ask me this? He said, because God told me, send you $1,000, send you $5,000, oh send you $3,000, $300. Everybody wants to go that way, man. To go to the missionary in Haiti to preach the gospel. And then while I preached the revival, a lot of souls come in, and then now I'm start crying. I'm start crying. I said, oh, my God. A lot of people, sickness, a lot of souls come to God at that time. But I'm still fighting. I said, I'm fin I have to finish my nursing school. Okay. I'm still fighting. I'm still fighting. I'm finished my nursing school. I'm graduated. I never passed my English. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Finally, when I called the Bible College, I said, no, I'm tired of fighting with God. So I was just said, and I'm start studying, and then that's why I'm today. Yes. Travel yesterday, come from Santo Domingo to assist me. She's very, she's very happy. And I have my beautiful daughter and my son and my nephew. They together with me. Amen. Thank you, God. I bless his name for everything that for me. Please keep me in my prayer because it's not easy Amen. for me, but with power of God, I can do it. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> I will stand to say I am glad to be here. I wasn't going to say anything, but um, <laughs> when the band was playing and I listened to the words of the gentleman that was singing the song, you know, I wanted to just stand up and, because I'm a praiser, mm -hmm. you know, and I know that God likes praise, but it was so Amen. quiet. I'm looking around like, what, what, what's going on? And I know these are people that, know you know, the they, song. They, they're emotional. And they like music, but they just so quiet. <laughs> and but God's word was coming forth in that song. Amen. You know, and it said, Come to me. Amen. You know, and, and it's like they everything was so quiet. <laughs> but anyway, I would rent your church because I get up and I praise and I clap my hands. But you know, one day raise the roof. 
And God is going to bless tremendously yes. each and every one because he desires our praise. Amen. Not praise for ourselves, not praise to be seen, but for his glory. Amen. 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 All the way from New Jersey? Yes. Um, praise the Lord, everyone. I thank God for each and every one that's here today. Your presence is just so gracious to me. And I just want to thank God for Dr. Velvet Jabur. That's fine. Oh, I never get the name right. But I thank God for him. For maybe five years, I've been searching for a school to go to and to enhance my biblical studies. And I went online to Open Bible, but we did something unique about that. And when I went online and I began to put in the application and I spoke with Dr. Um, Arthur, and I felt so compelled pertaining to the teaching and the material when I enrolled in the school, in the school now. It was so unique in how God is using you, Dr. Bell. And the unique way how God is using you has enhanced me even the more to thirst for God, righteousness. And I have never heard the word in the unique way how God uses you to bring out information, dictational, of what we need to comprehend and how we think sometimes our own definition is accurate, lined up with the word of God. But I tell you, the way the Lord used you through the Holy Spirit, it has enhanced me so tremendously. And I thank God for you and I thank God for this school. Um, during the month of February, I lost my son to domestic violence, and it was so no. devastating. And I felt like giving up, but I called and I spoke with the professor, and he encouraged me to come down. He encouraged me in a way to say, what your son say, did he know the Lord? And I said, he knew the Lord, and it made me feel so confident to know <laughs> that he made it in on the other side. Yeah. The situation was devastated. It was painful. And it hurt so bad. Mm. But I thank God because I have identified myself to know and to accept mm. that many are called but few are chosen. Mm. And I know God has chosen you for such a time as this for the people that are thirsting after righteousness to enhance in biblical studies. Not to outdo or outlearn one another with the true doctrine of Jesus Christ, but to also dress ourselves inwardly, spiritually. And I want to thank God for you, and I want to thank God for each and every one that's here. Amen. And I know Amen. the will and purpose of God has given us a degree. The paper cannot dictate to us or dress us up because we have degrees. But when you have been decreed by God and ordained by God, ordained, but through and by the Holy Spirit to recognize the calling that God has given us all and the description that God has given us, I thank God for you. And I know you are a God sent ambassador of God because the present that you carry is so unique. I don't understand it, but I know it's God within you. And I thank God for you. Thank you. And Amen. I just want to Amen. Amen. I meant to bring tonight a knife and a fork. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, you're going to be served meat. There will be no milk served tomorrow. <laughs> so if you have a knife or a fork around that hotel room, bring it with you tomorrow. Oh, God. Uh, in a symbolic way, bring it with you, because tomorrow, you're going to have some serious digesting to take. Oh, Amen. Amen. It's going to be a blessing, and I want to challenge you to pray for... What will be said here tomorrow? Because it may be nothing that I say, but in that moment, the Holy Spirit will have a trigger to pull with you. So, anybody else like to give a word of testimony? Yes, ma'am. Miss Hunter? Mrs. Hunter? Yes, good evening, everyone. Good evening. I cannot sit down on God this evening or any time, but I want to thank God for this evening. Life, health, and strength. 
I was called in 2002, lost my mother in 2004, but I still persevered and continued to do God's work. Amen. Not only that, but through all of the, the degrees, and that doesn't mean anything, just an accomplishment that I've done, but God has blessed me so yes. with getting me through this journey. Hallelujah. Amen. And I and through all that, I two brothers, my two brothers, and my dad. But yeah, through it all, I thank God for the journey. Mm -hmm. Because I know he has greater work for me to do. Your and, and I can't stand here tonight and not thank bit. my husband and my that. son publicly for being with me through this journey. When you are a female, a woman called into the ministry, oh, yeah. hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, yeah. the road is not easy. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. But Amen. through it all, hallelujah. hallelujah. By the grace of God, Amen. hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. He has carried me and he's going to carry me through. But I thank God for this man Amen. who has been with me through it all. He has been with me when it was time to study. Hallelujah. He didn't bother me. Hallelujah. <laughs> when it was time, I preparing meals, whatever. I tried to stay on track with everything. And I appreciate you, Dr. Bellinger, yes. for all of your support. Amen. Many times I would call you <laughs> and say, did you get my assignment? But I didn't hear from you. I'd call you back, which is always so precious. <laughs> and to call back and say, uh, Jackie, I got it. Got it. You can send me an email. But I, I, I do want to encourage the females that's yes, in the ministry. Nice. Keep moving. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Keep striving. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you. Because only God Amen. has ordained us. Yes. Amen. Not man. Amen. This yeah, piece yeah. of paper mm -hmm. has nothing to do with what God has to, to do for, with That's us. Right. So I challenge each of us, not just the women, but especially the women. I, 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 my, my heart is, is, is it reeks for the women with passion as far as in the ministry. Amen. Amen. Because it is a tough road to go. Yes. Yes. But yes. I do know that God is in control. Amen. And that's Amen. all I wanted to say. Okay. That's all. Woo! Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I see another hand back there go up? Oh, there we go. I'm afraid of the gospel of Christ. Amen. Why am I afraid of the gospel of Christ? Because I have a relationship. Yes. And Dr. Zipsky is happy. Yes. You have to be the first one. And I am here today because my aunt. I listen to what I see. I love you. You know, she sees something in me and she decided to embed it that way. Mm -hmm. But more than anything else, she wants each and every one of us that are called today to go over ministry. We first have to have that personal, yes. one on one relationship with God mm -hmm. where He speaks to you and you listen Hallelujah. to what He has to say. Yes. Empty yourself of it. Everything. Mm -hmm. Go naked in the spirit to the Lord so that He can talk to you. Yes. It's not about how you look, it's not about how you dress, yes. it's not about how you talk. Amen. It's about what you and the Lord ask. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Amen. it's a ministry that we are going in that we need to be hungry. Yes. Not for attention, yes. but to be hungry for the souls of men. Oh, yes. yes. The work that Dr. Bellinger has given us, oh, yeah. it allows us to see oh, deeper oh, into oh, our yeah. yes. 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 and where we are lacking. Yes. Amen. Because you preach the word and everything yes. is all right. But until you die with oh, the word, mm -hmm. and until you start to dissect the word, yes. and until you start to apply the word to your own life, yes. that is only when you're going to have that relationship, and that is only when you can go and do it. Yes. So I am here today thanking God for the journey yes. and what he has done for me. And one thing I know, I am not going to compromise my relationship with God, nor the message that God has given me. And I am asking each and every one of us to pray that the Holy Spirit is going to us. You're going to a particular place to preach, ask the Lord, what are you sending me to teach? Amen. Amen. Verse? Yeah. For this particular people, yes, make sure you have what the Lord wants. Amen. Do not use your own words. Amen. Amen. Let the Lord speak. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because I've seen so many times where the word of God has been compromised because we know the word and we can go there and talk the word. Mm -hmm. What is the word living for us? Ah. Mm -hmm. yes. 
Is the word living through us? <laughs> As ministers, we need to let the word live. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 Through us. Yes. So these are all that I have to say. Let the word live through us. No. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> I was waiting for you, Bobby. Oh. <laughs> I do have a promise to be here today. It's a pleasure to finally meet Dr. Bellinger, whom God has sent for such a time as this. Yes. And I know that this has been predestined by God. Each and every last one of you at the side of my voice, I want you to ask yourself this question. Have you been challenged during the course of this day? Have warfare came up against you tremendously yes. during the course of this day? Yes. Because he didn't want this to happen. Yes. But God said that it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why we're here. Yes. Because of what God has said. Amen. God has brought a mandate word through the man of God. And I bless the Lord for the anointing that's on your life. That you destroyed many yokes today. And you let the enemy know that it did not work. Mm -hmm. The assignment of the enemy was canceled. Amen. And each and every last one of you yes. should cheer in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You got the victory over everything. Oh, enemy. yes. Now you can rejoice because the warfare is over. Amen. 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 Good evening. I concur with everything everybody <laughs> said. Yes. And I'm, I'm so full right now. And I, I'm just, oh boy. Um, but I do truly thank God for this moment. Mm -hmm. I thank God for you, Dr. Bellinger. Uh, my husband and I are in ministry together. He's an ordained deacon. And I was calling the ministry many, many years ago. And I ran for a while. I was a master of music. My dad's a preacher. I was born in the family to sing and all. Uh, and I ran. I ran a long time. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I couldn't run anymore. And I ran into God. Yes. I was hospitalized. Uh, the doctors could not find what was going on. But I knew. And I could not stay in the hospital. Not one night. It was three nights. And I begged God to please just, just let me go. I would do it. I won't run anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, I ran definitely. God didn't go anywhere. I ran. Because I wanted to change my assignment. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do something that um, I wanted to do and not what yes. God wanted me to do. And so, uh, long story short, um, Deacon Don and I experienced a lot in terms of losing two babies back to back. We have children, but when I finished nursing school and I graduated from Augusta State University, and we wanted more children, and we already had children. So we lost a baby in 1998. We lost another son in um, the year 2000. It was difficult. And these were full-term babies, and, and I had anger mm -hmm. because I didn't understand why God would allow that to happen because I believe in God, and he was supposed to protect us, and he was not supposed to allow that to happen. And so I ran. I ran a long time. But the amazing and the beautiful part of it is I thank him for the journey. Yes. And I, too, you know, will be getting the degree, the doctorate in Christian counseling, but our specialty, our area will be in grief and loss counseling. Um, we published a book, uh, 2007, so my second book will be coming up later yeah. part of this year. But it's all about grief and loss mm -hmm. and how God, regardless of what, God and the presence of his Holy Spirit allows us to have that healing. And so we want to be able to be um, a witness to let us know that the power of God heals. And we think of healing in the physical sense. And that's all I've done. I'm, I'm a registered nurse. And I started a doctorate program in nursing, but I realized that that wasn't the calling. That that just didn't feel right. So I stopped for about a year or two, and once I, I prayed about it, and of all the schools that I looked at, God led me to yes. you. Yes. 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 I already knew what my calling was. Yes, and my sister spoke about the roadblocks, and we've already shared those things that I, I shared with you about the roadblocks. But the ministry that God has given each of us it is designed for us. And so there's no reason to keep running. He's going to give us the word. Mm -hmm. And everything that needs to be done will be done to God's glory. Amen. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Yo quiero uno. Yo dije, yo como un mal del cote. No, yo no. No, yo no. All of us have over... Uh, 
Jonah experience. <laughs> and I was just enjoying listening to my fellow colleagues about their Jonah experience. But you know, one, one of the beauty about it is that we can run, but we can't. No, run. no. <laughs> Whenever we decide to take matters in our own hand, God of our way, just like Jonah, he turns it around. <laughs> uh, and so, before we destroy ourselves, he gave us the grace and the courage to come Thank back you. to him. Mm -hmm. So you can run from God no matter how you try. And let us continue as students yes. of the word to stay in the word because we're supposed to be teaching others yes. about the word. Now, if you do, you can't teach what you don't have. So let us continue to practice the word. Okay. So we'll be okay. able okay. to deliver okay. better okay. the work. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Graduation Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust mm -hmm. in Jesus, mm -hmm. and I've learned to trust in God. I love that song. Oh and while I was sitting here, all I hear is throwing off. Oh, I've told okay. to trust Jesus. Amen. And trusting God in spite of what we all have faced to get to this place where we are. It's all because we have trusted in Jesus. I am Pastor Lana Sengi from all the way from the city of the beautiful Palm Beach. I was I'm glad to be here. I, I, I'm I just happy when I heard my sister and my brother right here. Come on, put your hands together. For the story. What they have been through just to be here for such a time as this. You would give God glory. And I'm here just to celebrate them. And we just thank him God for what he is doing. And I thank God for you, men of God. Keep pushing. This is a beautiful thing that you have yes. here Amen. going on. Amen. I am about to even recommend some people to come here. So yes. get ready. I'm going to close with this testimony. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Amen. In Christ yes. Jesus, our Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you, and good night. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, my goodness. 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 Oh, my go